Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Jim. I am the project manager and line editor for the Star Trek Adventures RPG and the Captain's Log Solo RPG, both published by Modifius Entertainment. Back again with a unboxing video for you here. I have in my hands the print proof of the Star Trek Adventures 2nd Edition Game Masters, or not Game Masters Toolkit, Game Toolkit. Uh, this is intended for Game Masters and players, uh, not just Game Masters. Uh, unlike the first edition and stuff, I wanted to make sure that we had content in here that was useful for both players and for Game Masters, uh, just to uh, to give more people more options to check out all this great stuff. So there is the uh, the front cover of the package. Uh, it's also the front cover of the booklet that's uh, included in the um, in the package. So let's just jump through the components here real quick, and then you can go off and check it out online uh, yeah, the pre-orders are available you get the print pdf or you get the uh, pdfs right away uh, and then of course uh, this will go on general sale here in retail pretty soon pre-order copies will be going out and uh, we'll have a limited number of these at gen con uh, next week uh, so if you want to run to the booth uh, 3053 i think is our booth number 3053 or 3056 i'll have to double check that um, but anyway, so let's just go through the components here, shall we? Uh, why don't we start with the fly sheet? Because the fly sheet's always kind of fun. That's the little thing that's uh, shrink, shrink wrapped in the package. It tells you what the contents are. This is nice full color, nice heavy stock paper, nice slick and glossy. Just tells you what's in the package, uh, just to give you a little uh, excitement there. And it's a preview of the, um, of the artwork that's on the screen itself. Uh, so just a nice little uh, look and feel there for the fly sheet. So that's part of the, uh, the package. Uh, let's do the poster next. We have a, a large uh, double-sided poster here. On one side is a lovely galaxy map of the Alpha and Beta Quadrants as of the late 23rd century. This is uh, direct from Strange New Worlds' production team. So you'll see a lot of beautiful detail in there. Same thing that looks like uh, you'll see when it's on screen. Uh, we did make one edition though with uh, CBS's permission. Those of you who are familiar with first edition, we added the label for the Shackleton Expanse. So uh, a little bit of, uh, of the nebula and the Shackleton Expanse, approximately where it should be, over there to the uh, galactic uh, northeast of the Romulan Empire and the Klingon Empire and the Federation. Uh, so nice, uh, nice map there, a lot of detail. And then of course on the back is a poster of the uh, beautiful cover art from the uh, standard core rule book so you got yourself a nice folded poster there suitable for framing if you so choose to do that with your group uh, next major component are the eight reference cards that we include in the uh, packet these reference cards are packed full of information uh, pulled right out of the core rule book uh, hopefully to make it easier for players and game masters to uh, reference the most important rules that they'll need while they're playing there are uh, eight different cards uh, st standard actions uh, starships, uh, what was this? Uh, command and communications actions, uh, starship conflict card, uh, conflict reference resolution, conflict momentum spends, and some other bits on the bottom there. You can see a really nice looking feel here. Uh, design team did a great job putting these cards together. Uh, helm and navigator actions, along with uh, starship standard actions, uh, starship standard actions again, along with engineering and operate engineering and operations on the back. Uh, tactical operations, you have a rules summary card front and back with the different summary stuff. Uh, and then we have a, a breaches card as well. Uh, the breaches card is uh, optional if you want to add more detail to your game when your uh, starship or if your starship or another starship suffers a breach. Uh, the breaches card gives you some options to, uh, to get more role playing stuff in there. And uh, the nice thing about the breaches card is if you also happen to play Captain's Log, uh, that's a bunch of more random tables that you can add to Captain's Log to help uh, add detail to your um, to your stories. Like what kind of breach did you suffer uh, in some dramatic moment? Uh, you can use that table to, uh, to help you out. Uh, next component, of course, is the screen itself. This is a four panel US letter size screen. Uh, so for those of you who bought the, um, the, the first edition Star Trek screen, that big honk, honking thing that looks like a, you know, a record uh, uh, LP, uh, this is a smaller US letter size, same size as the core books, etc. Four panels, completely folds out. You got beautiful artwork on the one side of the Enterprise going to check out a uh, alien space station. Really pretty artwork. Uh, and then on the inside, are a bunch of reference tables. Uh, hopefully the light's not too bad on that, but lots of reference tables. Again, pulled right out of the core rule book with page references and other details. Uh, so hopefully the game master can make use of that or the players can make use of this as needed. Um, you'll see that this is uh, really nicely designed so that it folds in a bunch of different ways. 
without stressing the um, the binding too much, uh, which I found really handy. So like you can you can bend, fold, and spindle this in a number of different ways, uh, just to make it convenient for you. And um, hopefully you get lots of use out of this. Um, I'm not a big fan of using screens at the table. I like to lay them flat in front of me so that um, I don't have a barrier between my, me and my players. Uh, but you may choose to, go, to do it differently. Uh, but anyway, yes, yeah, so there's the, the Game Master screen that goes with everything. You can put that over here and put that over there. And then finally, we've got the 40-page booklet full of content. You see this great evocative um, artwork here on the cover. Uh, Ariel Aurier is my art director, and he did a fantastic job managing this artwork and art load with all the different artists. Uh, this particular piece of art is done by um, uh, Carlos Cabrera. Uh, so Carlos did a great job on that artwork right there. And you'll see uh, in the, all the second edition, um, all of the second edition uh, products, we have um, made it an, a concerted effort to credit the artwork artists whenever possible. So in this example, uh, you'll see interior artwork, and there's always a, uh, where is it, right there, there's always an artist label saying who the artist is for each piece of art. That's including the cutouts as much as possible, and uh, the full page art, and uh, even like the, the ship art that uh, Thomas Maroney provided. We made, made sure to credit him uh, and his team. Um, but yeah, so the, uh, the toolkit booklet uh, is, for, again, 40 pages, has a bunch of information in here. Uh, some additional space frames. So if you're uh, if you're big on the starships, uh, you'll see a bunch of new starships, uh, including the Freedom class from uh, Star Trek 2009 movie. Um, although actually, no, the Freedom was in uh, uh, Star Trek Beyond, wasn't it? <laughs> but we do have access to the uh, the uh, JJ verse of movies. Uh, also, those of you who have been anxiously awaiting the Sagan to appear in Star Trek Adventures, there's the Sagan uh, Sagan class along with a bunch of other ones. Uh, there's some additional optional rules in here, some additional mission profiles for ships, uh, a couple new ship talents, uh, and then a few pages of additional advice for game masters. Uh, just more advice that uh, we couldn't fit into the core rule book, but wanted to make sure it was available to you as soon as possible. Um, so that's all in here. So I hope you get a chance to check out this toolkit. Hopefully it's really handy for you. Um, again, all the other components too, including the reference cards, the poster, and of course the screen itself. Uh, so that is the Star Trek Adventures 2nd Edition game toolkit now available again this is my print proof uh the actual production proofs uh not proofs but the actual production run uh we were able to uh, get one pallet of stuff um, air freighted to gen con in time for gen con uh pre-orders for uk and us will be heading out mid to late august uh and the rest of the world you know regular re retail and everything will be happening uh, thereafter so um this stuff is wending its way outside out into the world now which is super exciting so can't wait for you all to get it in your hands. Hope you have fun with it. Thanks so much for your time and have a great day. Live long and prosper.